Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Wendy Mutata. I'm so excited today. I am sitting right next to one of South Africa's young authors, Lerato Mulo Elang. Lerato Mulo Elang is an author. She wrote a very beautiful book called Dreams Coming True. Here is her book. So, Lerato will be taking us through her journey on how she became one of the young authors of South Africa. Hi Lerato, how are you? Hi, I'm good and you? Good, thank you. Firstly, congratulations on becoming um, one of South Africa's young authors. Um, how old are you before we can even start? I'm 12 years old. It's, and is your book published? Yes. When was your book released? It was released early on in June. This year? Yes. How do you feel about that? I'm very happy and excited. Uh huh. So how has it been like um, growing up? It, it's been hard with my mom alone, mm -hmm. but we made it through. We made it through, right? Okay, firstly, when did you start reading? At what age did you start reading? At, when I was in grade one, I needed my mom to help me. Yes. Yes, then in grade three, I could read novels. In grade three? Yes. How old were you? I when was you were doing grade three? nine years old were you reading these novels at home or at school i was going to the library to read after school okay that's great and how many days would you take to read the one novel three to five days when did your passion for writing start it started when i was in grade three also mm -hmm. but i did not recognize that i could write a book okay then in grade five, that's when I went to to a book fair. Mm -hmm. Then I saw young authors mm -hmm. that really inspired me to start writing my own book. What well, what was it all about? Okay, it was a competition mm -hmm. where we submitted so short stories, poems, and there was also a spelling bee competition. Okay, but. Poems and Spelling Bee were cancelled, so the competition of short stories mm -hmm. went through. Mm -hmm. But sadly, I didn't succeed mm -hmm. to win the prize, but I did not give up on what I wanted. I looked for a publisher till I got it. And then how did you get your publisher? I googled it. Oh, that's beautiful. So, did who, who recognized the skill of you writing? My mom. Your mom. And did teachers at any point help you with your book when you were starting to write this beautiful book? No. Okay. Because I'm shy, I was scared to go to them. Mm -hmm. Are you shy? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So, uh -huh. my mom helped me. Uh -huh. And to go to just book fair, I went to just book fair with my mom's company where mm -hmm. she works. Mm -hmm. That's when my caregiver helped me with spellings and other things. Ah, oh, that's great. And what is your favorite subject at school? I see you have so many awards. I'm just going to show people these amazing awards that you have. My favorite subject is math and I'm also good at it. Do you have an award in English? Yes. Oh. It's obvious because you have this amazing, amazing book. What really motivated you to start this book? So seeing other young authors mm -hmm. at my age mm -hmm. and really going far with life, starting at a young age. Mm -hmm. So I thought that I could fit in and, and help my mom. Yes. Okay. So since it's two in one, mm -hmm. oh, it's two in one. Yes. Okay. So my. What do you mean when you say it's two in one? First of all, it has two stories inside. Okay. What is it about? It's a girl who was abused by a stepmother, mm -hmm. but her teacher realized, so she took her in mm -hmm. to live with her. Mm -hmm. Then that girl and uh, that girl. Mm -hmm went to school and finished it so she became something 
Um, Lerato, can you please share with us one of your favorite quotes from this book? I'm going to give you this book so that you can read out loud um, some of your favorite lines from this book. My favorite lines mm -hmm. are here. Mm -hmm. As for Zuki, she lived high. She lived her life and her teacher... She lived her life and her teacher treated her like her own child. Mm -hmm. Years later, when Zuki was done studying, she got married and stayed in her house with her husband. Oh, so this is the girl that was abused by her stepmother. Yes. So what was her career? She wanted to be a doctor. Okay, did she become a doctor? Yes. Okay. Zuki's stepsister left school a long time ago. The time their mother died, they got so poor and and they had to work as maids. So has this book changed you? Because you're saying dreams coming true. What motivated your title? Because like other children mm -hmm. are struggling to make their dreams coming true. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to share share some information that even though in life it's yeah. hard you can still make it true you can still make it right okay so has this book changed you in anyhow after completing this book looking at it you're like wow this book has changed my life do you have any mm -hmm. this book has changed my life because now like people are starting to know me mm -hmm. I'm no longer shy. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, then my book is selling fast. Okay, that's great. Is there any other book that you're working on now? Yes. What can you give us a bit of what you're working on? Okay. It's called I Am Now Ruined. It's a boy that was living with her father. Mm -hmm. Then she went living with her mother, but her mother didn't give him her attention so he was in he was more he was peer pressured by his friends to start smoking drugs and mm -hmm. other things what do you use when you are writing your 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 your, your when you are writing your book do you use a pen and paper a book or do you use a computer a pen and paper then i type it do you type it yourself yes Okay, that's great. So now that you have this beautiful book, do you uh, struggle to interact with your age mates, like the friends of your age? No. You don't? Yeah. Are you Apart from school and apart from writing, what do you do? Okay, I'm apart from writing. Mm -hmm. what, what do you do if you are not writing and if you're not at school? Um... I'm spending time with my friends or mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. And then any other games that you like playing? Mm, no. You don't like any games? No ways at all. Do you play on the streets with other kids? No. You don't? Okay, that's fine. Okay, I had something interesting about you being a poet writer. Is it true? Yes, it is. Okay, how many poems have you written so far? Mm, maybe six. Six. Do you want to share one with us now? Okay. Look at the screen. Books, books, books. You have information inside you that help us know more. But kids cut and ruin you. They don't know how much you're important to us. Books are important in life. If you want a good future, you must read books. Books can help us read, but they can also help us know more. If you want a good a good future you must read books as they say a reader is a leader so books are your tomorrow oh that's beautiful a round of applause that's amazing do you want to be when you grow up i also want to be a doctor you want to be a doctor yes. oh that's great and then what about your writing are you still going to continue with it when you become a doctor or what's going to happen to it yes i'll continue writing books uh -huh. Maybe I'll write novels this time. Ah, okay, that's great. How does your mom feel about this book and everything that is happening in your life now? She's 
she can't believe that I'm really making it through in life uh -huh. in such a young age. Yeah. So she's very happy. What lessons have you learned from this book? Okay. Since two and two in one, so going to the circus, I have learned that you have to listen to your parents and don't be angry at them mm -hmm. because they might be planning something big for you. And, and finally, I'm happy. I learned that that you must not take advantage of other kids mm -hmm. and you must treat everyone equal. Okay, that's true. We are now with Lerato's mother who will just share with us how she feels with her daughter being one of South Africa's young authors. So how does it feel to have a child who's an author? I'm very excited because she she started early. Mm -hmm. so, and always she's always in her book. Every time. Also she encourages young ones to write. To write and read. Mm -hmm. She also helps them with maths. She's also good in maths. So she always helps the young one with maths. Mm -hmm. She's not playing in the street every time. Mm -hmm. They come here, they are friends. And she's always a group leader. Whatever she's doing, she's, she's a leader there. So how did you nurture her skill of writing? Okay, I, I also help her as I'm working to Tokomele Tropian Center because she's coming for a after school activities. So they are caregiver who help them to write and help them with their homework. So she's always coming there at Tokomele Tropian Center. So they help her. What was your first reaction the first time when she said, Mama, I want to write a book? It was difficult for me because she always make a noise and give me books every time. I, I also, I was tired coming from work. She give me lots of books to read. So ish, it was hard for me to take those books. So I take those books to, and give them to caregivers to read and correct their, their spellings. So, and then they also helped me a lot, those caregivers with Lerato, so they correct spellings and do everything for her. I like to advise others, mothers, to give support to their children, whatever they want, and they must start at what they want young. So they give support wherever she go, company her. So Lerato has amazing awards and beautiful trophies that she got from school. So she will be explaining to us what they are for. So this award I got it last year on meds. I got first position. Show it to us like this. The award. Oh, that's beautiful. So this award I also got it last year mm -hmm. on meds. First okay. position. All right. Last year, 2017. Mm -hmm. This one is for 2017. Mm -hmm. okay. This one is for 2016, also first position for maths. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. So you always get first position with mathematics. Mm -hmm. awesome. Wow. Okay. So this one, 2015, also first position for maths. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. The one that you broke, she has one that she broke, guys. <coughs> She's just gonna show it to us. Go get it. <laughs> Here's it. Uh -huh. It's also 2014 for first position math. How did you break it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, anything that you wanna add or tell us about the book? Okay, my for anyone who wants my book, it's one fifty. Mm -hmm. You can get it on on me, um, Lerato Morelang on Facebook, and you can also contact me on zero seven two, oh eight five seven nine two one. 
what can you say to other kids who want to write books? How can you encourage them? That they must, if they will really want to publish their books and go through with life, so they must um, start asking people for information and they must also tell their parents so they can have support from them mm -hmm. and help them. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, Lerato for your beautiful book. I hope you'll keep me posted with your next book and congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you so much.